A broker and their sales agents are to disclose the physical nature and conditions of a property when first providing property information to individuals interested in making an offer to purchase. As part of this, licensees have a general duty to timely disclose any significant physical aspects of a property that may affect the property's market value or the buyer's decision to purchase. Now, what is meant by timely? Really, we're referring to the earliest possible moment. Understand this to mean upon the commencement of negotiations, prior to making an offer. As a rule of thumb, when it comes to disclosure, the earlier the better. Always. If the disclosures are not timely made, the buyer may cancel the offer on discovery of the broker's failure to disclose before the buyer enters into a purchase agreement with the seller. Or they could close the escrow on the purchase and seek recovery of the costs to cure the untimely disclosure of known defects. A seller's broker and their agents have a special fiduciary agency duty owed solely to the seller who has employed the broker to diligently market the listed property for sale. The objective of this employment is to locate a prospective buyer who is ready, willing, and able to acquire the property on the listed terms. On locating a prospective buyer, either directly or through a buyer's agent, the seller's agent owes a prospective buyer and thus also the buyer's agent, a limited, non-client, general duty to voluntarily provide critical factual information on the listed property, collectively called material facts. What is limited about the duty is not the extent or detail to which the seller's agent may go to provide information, but the minimal quantity of property information which the seller's agent will hand to the prospective buyer and the buyer's agent before they enter into a purchase agreement. The information disclosed by the seller's agent needs to be sufficient, at least sufficient enough, to place the buyer on notice of facts which may have an adverse effect on the property's value or interfere with the buyer's intended use. As part of the public policy pursuit of transparency, uh, the seller's agent may not deliver less than the minimum level of information to put the buyer on notice of the property's fundamentals, give unfounded opinions or deceptive responses to buyer's inquiries, or stifle inquiries about the property in a vigorous pursuit of the best financial advantage possible for the seller or the seller's broker.